Many have said that the Oppo Enco X has powerful noise cancelling and great sound quality. In fact, Oppo openly advertises on its box that these were tuned by engineers from audiophile giant Dyne Audio. It costs 259 Singapore dollars, which is about 190 US dollars after the red conversion. So that's quite a bit cheaper than the wildly popular Sony WF-1000XM3. But in spite of its lower price point, are these just as good as the XM3 earbuds, not only in terms of noise cancelling, but also in terms of sound quality, phone call quality, and the latency while playing games and watching videos on your phone? And do its features match up to that of the Sony's? I'm here to lay it all out for you, so don't worry. Just like you shouldn't worry if you're an aspiring YouTuber. And here, we segue to the sponsor of this video. Bloomer.sg is Singapore's first MCN or multi-channel network affiliated with YouTube. If you're an aspiring creator and you're based in Singapore, by joining Bloomer.sg, you gain access to not only bleeding-edge facilities to take your content further, but also one-to-one -one mentorship on how to grow your channel. I've been with Bloomer for a few years now and personally, I've benefited a lot from stuff that I learned from the mentors. And the best part about this MCN is you own full copyright over the content that you create and if you're monetized, you get to keep all the passive AdSense money you make from your videos. And on top of that, Bloomer.sg will also provide sponsorship opportunities and reserved media ads so that you can further monetize your channel. In other words, make more money. Who doesn't like money? So if you haven't signed up with an MCN yet, I highly encourage you to consider Bloomer.sg. You can reach out to them through their website in the description below or follow them on Instagram. Now, back to the main content, and we'll start off by talking about the Enco X's specs and features. The Oppo Enco X has up to 20 hours of rated battery life with up to 4 hours in the earbuds with noise cancelling. And you charge it up via USB Type-C or wireless charging with a Qi compatible charging pad. It has Bluetooth 5.2 technology inside and AAC and SBC audio codec support. It has LHDC codec support too for higher resolution streaming, but that appears to be only if you're using an Oppo device. IP54 dust and water resistance ensures that this is good to go for use at the gym too. They've clearly gone for an AirPod style design here, right down to the glossy finish and the stem, where you'll find the touch controls that control your music, phone calls, and toggling between transparency and noise cancelling modes. However, just like the AirPods Pro, you can work out with these earbuds, yes, but I will not recommend these for high intensity sports because its glossy surface and lack of stability fins mean they are not likely to stay in your ears very well when playing sports like rugby, basketball, or martial arts. They do have app support from the Hey Melody app, but only on Android, not iOS. The Hey Melody app, however, is very limited. I mean, it can deliver software updates for the Enco X, and it also lets you customize its controls, but at this moment, there is no way to customize its sound quality, no EQ presets or graphic equalizers available. However, the Sony WF-1000XM3 has an app on both iOS and Android, and you can enhance its sound quality using EQ presets, an equalizer, or Sony's proprietary DSEEHX audio upscaler. So, in terms of cross-platform support and customization options, the Oppo Enco X falls far short of the Sony's. Speaking of sound quality, after using the Enco X for a few days, I have to say that it sounds very good. It definitely is tuned by guys who know what they're doing. Although its bass wasn't really hitting the sweet spot for me in terms of impact and depth, it does sound thick and detailed. Like most wireless earbuds, these have a decent focus on the mid-range, which sounded clear 
and has great track separation from the bass range. So if you love listening to vocals music, the Oppo Echo X will be right up your alley. And if you like to listen to high intensity songs like house music, heavy metal, these also sound great for that kind of music with pristine track separation and a nice roll off in the treble range for a non-fatiguing sound signature. Apart from wishing that it's got deeper bass, I don't really have anything else to complain about really about its sound quality. It does however sound a bit more laid back than the Sony's in the mid-range frequencies, so vocals from the Sony's are gonna sound louder with more emphasis against the background of your music. The Sony's also displayed more detailed and open sound staging and is also about 10% louder than the Enco X. So 50% volume on the Enco X is going to sound like 40% on the Sony's. But overall, the Enco X sounds very good indeed. And it's also very addictive to listen to. Now we're going to compare their phone call quality. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to play some really loud cafe style background noise to simulate making a phone call in a noisy cafe environment and I'm going to record a voice memo on my phone using these earbuds. Background noise, Oppo and 4 x record. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Oppo Enco X. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Background noise, Sony WF-1000XM3, record. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony WF-1000XM3. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Well, I think the Enco X's phone call quality is very good compared to the Sony's. Its background noise cancellation was almost total and it still managed to preserve the integrity of my voice. My voice did sound a little more nasal on the Enco X compared to the XM3 earbuds, but its overall phone call quality is far superior to that of the XM3s. Okay, now we're gonna compare their noise cancelling performance. As usual, I'm gonna play the same background noise that I played before, and let's see which of these earbuds have better ANC.
Now I'm kind of surprised by the results that the Enco X has cancelled more background noise than the Sony's. Its passive noise isolation was quite a bit better to begin with, but with noise cancelling, you can hear this heavy reduction of low frequency and mid-range noise from the Enco X. Very impressive. Now let's look at how they compare in terms of Bluetooth audio lag when gaming and watching videos on both Apple and Android devices. For an Apple device, I'm going to use the iPhone SE 2020 as usual. For Android, I'm going to use the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE as the benchmark. First, the gaming audio lag test. As a point of reference, let's see what no lag looks like on the iPhone SE. This is audio straight from the iPhone speaker, so no lag. Now, the Oppo Enco X, then the Sony WF-1000XM3, and then we repeat the same test on the S20 FE. So, whether it is on Apple or Android devices, the Sony's had a little less lag, but the difference was so small that without slow motion, no one would have been able to tell a difference. But what about for watching videos on your phone? Will there be any audio to video lag? Well, not really because apps like YouTube or Netflix on your phone have their own latency correction built in, so they will automatically correct for such Bluetooth audio lag by delaying the video so that the audio syncs up better with the video, like this. Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today we're going to find out which of these very popular truly wireless earbuds have the best phone call quality. Now, if you've watched similar videos I've done in the past, you know how things are going to go. This is going to be a trial by elimination competition. Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today we're going to find out which of these very popular truly wireless earbuds have the best phone call quality. Now, if you've watched similar videos I've done in the past, you know how things are going to go. This is going to be a trial by elimination competition. So here are my final thoughts. The Oppo Enco X is a great performer with a good set of features that absolutely killed on some important metrics like noise cancelling performance, sound quality, and phone call quality. But I didn't like the fact that it only has an app on Android. And even so, there's very little you can do through the app, unlike the Sony's. Its battery life also falls short of the Sony's, both in terms of total battery life and battery life inside the earbuds. With the Sony's, you get up to 6 hours in the earbuds and up to 24 hours with the case compared to the Oppo's 4 hours in the earbuds and 20 with the case. So you can see why the Sony's have the advantage here. Now, 
This may not seem like much of a difference, but it does mean that you don't have to remember to charge the Sony's as often. And yes, I get it, I get it. The AirPods design is very attractive and very popular, but Oppo could have improved on the design by adding small stability fins that lock the earbuds better in place while making some extra space in the case for that. They could also have had a matte surface for the Oppo Ankle Access case, like the Ankle Free, which I reviewed in this video, that would have made the case much less of a scratch and fingerprint magnet, which will look a lot more obvious to the naked eye with the black colorway. But overall, I am very impressed with the Oppo Enco X's sound quality, noise cancelling performance, and phone call quality. And if you use an Android device, it definitely is worth giving this a shot. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please show that you like this video by punching that like button and sharing this video with your friends and family. That'll really help me beat YouTube's algorithm. And if you'd like to see more content from this channel, more reviews, comparisons, and tutorials, please subscribe and ring the notifications bell because this is the only way YouTube will notify you of new content from this channel. A big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Bloomer.sg, and to my patrons who support this channel by contributing a dollar or more per month through the crowdfunding website, Patreon. If you'd like to support my work too, please join me on Patreon as well Link is in my description box. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.